हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड नमस्ते एवरीवन आई एम धवल सर एंड अवर टुडेज टॉपिक इज फ्रॉम योर स्टैंडर्ड टेंथ लिटरेचर पार्ट यूनिट सेवन पार्ट टू इन यूनिट सेवन स्टूडेंट्स वी आर हैविंग थ्री पार्ट्स एंड दिस इज अवर सेकेंड पार्ट एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज कुर्ग ओके एंड दिस चैप्टर इज रिटन बाय लोकेश एब्रॉल ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल गिव यू द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ दिस चैप्टर and uh, later on we'll read line by line of this chapter and we'll try to understand the chapter in detail and uh, in this chapter i have written all the difficult words meaning also so that it becomes easy for you to understand the chapter okay so i'll start with the introduction of his, of this chapter that is kurg okay so this lesson that is the kurg Uh, gives us a beautiful insight insight means understanding of the smallest district of karnataka and its people okay and this place has uh, an amazing weather throughout the year with enough rain in the monsoon season okay so there is a enough rain in the monsoon season at this place and this people the people of kur are known to be one of the bravest people okay they are considered to be one of the bravest people and the main crop which is grown in this place is coffee okay and a variety of animals can be found here uh, with the place surrounded by beautiful uh, brahmagiri hills uh, islands and the tibetan settlements that means the tibetan peoples they have settled over there okay so this is the introduction of this chapter and now what we'll do is we'll try to understand this chapter in detail by uh, reading out the chapter line by line okay so first line what is written is kurg is coffee country famous for its rainforest and spices okay so coffee is the main crop which is grown in the kur as well as different spices are also grown over there midway between mysore and the coastal town of mangalore sits a piece of heaven that means it is the description uh, description about kur okay what is said midway between mysore and the coastal town of mangalore sits a piece of heaven that must have been drifted from the kingdom of god see how beautiful the description is given right it is said that it might have dr drifted that means it might have come from the heaven such beautiful is kurb this land of drifted meaning is given being carried along gently by air okay so this land of rolling hills okay is inhabited by a proud race of martial men beautiful women and wild creatures okay so uh, rolling hills means what right so rolling hills means small hills with gentle slopes okay uh, that uh, are extended long way into the distance right we have seen the small 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 hills with slopes so that type of small hills are known as rolling hills okay so it is inhabited inhabited means the people who live over there right so it is inhabited by a proud race of martial men okay beautiful women and wild creatures so martial means uh, having to do with war that means in earlier uh, time this people uh, were the people who were warriors they used to fight war okay kurg or kodagu the smallest district of karnataka is home to evergreen forest that means here as i said in the introduction uh, there is a very heavy rainfall okay and uh, throughout the year there is a rainfall so the forest are evergreen over there okay spices and coffee plantations so this also we have already understood evergreen rainforests cover 30% of this district during the monsoons it pours enough to keep many visitors away 
that means there is so much rain that uh, the visitors they try to avoid this place because it is always covered with water okay the season of joy commences from september and continues till march okay that means during that season that time uh, already the rainfall has taken place and after that there is greenery everywhere and it is a very pleasant atmosphere and the scenery over there okay the weather is perfect with some showers thrown in for good measures the air breathes of invigorating coffee okay so invigorating means to cause to become uh, more active and lively okay so there is a bit of rainfall in between uh, which keeps the human beings over there lively okay they feel very fresh and lively coffee estates so estates means what a large piece of land with a house on it okay a large piece of land with a house on it usually we have seen farms uh, where plantations are there and a small house is there so such kind of land is known as with house is known as estate so coffee estates and colonial bungalows right the meaning of colonial bungalows i have written over here it was meant for one nuclear family and it was a large single storied structure with a slope roof and usually set in one or two acres of open ground a huge ground is there and there a bungalow is there which is known as colonial bungalow stands tucked under tree canopies in prime corners prime corners means usually in the uh, that land area in the corner a huge bungalow is there okay the fiercely independent people of kur fiercely means extremely uh, strong brave and independent people of kur are possibly of greek or arabic descent descent means birth okay so this people are considered to be uh, of arabic or greek descent as one story goes now what is the reason or how can we come to know that this people belong to greek or arabic descent so a story is given we'll read out that and try to understand as one story goes a part of alexander's army moved south along the coast and settled here when return became impracticable so when alexander had come to india he had uh, gone to south okay he went to south and uh, from there it had become impractical for him to go back so they had settled over there and because of that this people are the descendants of those people okay this people married amongst the locals and their culture is apparent apparent means visible in the uh, martial traditions okay marriage and religious rites which are distinct rites means an act that is part of usual religious ceremony so what is given that this people when they get married to the local people uh, martial traditions are seen okay which are distinct from the hindu mainstream so usually uh, the hindus okay in india they follow different method and this people of kurk they have their own method own rites and rituals okay which they have inherited from this uh, arabic or greek descent people okay that means their forefathers the theory of arab origin draws support from the long black coat so here in the picture you can see a black long coat is worn by a person and this is the traditional kurgi dress okay usually the arab people they wear this type of long uh, coat okay fine we'll move further see here students you can find out that i have uh, written the meanings of each and every difficult word so you can easily go through those difficult words and try to understand it so black coat Uh, with an embroidered waist belt worn by the kodavos kodavos means the people of kurg right known as kupia okay 
what is given that is the theory of arab origin draws support from the long black coat with an embroidered waist belt yeah here you can see the belt is worn okay waist belt fine so worn by the kodavus and it is known as kufia it resembles the kufia worn by the arabs and the kurds okay so uh, with the help of this kind of picture we can uh, relate the people of kurg with the arab people okay kurgi homes have a tradition of hospitality now hospitality means uh, behaving or uh, we can say that usually whenever we go to the five star hotels uh, we find there is a lot of hospitality hospitality means very friendly treatment very generous treatment okay with the visitors or the guest so that is hospitality okay so kurgi homes have a tradition of hospitality that means whenever any visitors or a guest arrive over there they treat them very friendly okay they treat them very generously very happily and they are more than willing to recount numerous tales of valor okay so again on the right hand side the meaning is given tales means stories so tales of valor valor means bravery okay so stories of courage and bravery usually in war so what is given they are more than willing to recount numerous tales of valor related to their sons and fathers okay so whenever any people visit over there they keep on saying different different stories related to the bravery and courage of their uh, forefathers or their children okay fine the kurg regiment now regiment means what right so usually uh, regiment is uh, you might have heard about the army camps okay so there is a camp which is known as a regiment so the kurg regiment is one of the most decorated in the indian army right in the indian army uh, the kurg regiment is the most decorated that means they have different variety of clothes which is very much decorated okay fine and the first chief of the indian army okay our indian army's first chief general kariyappa was a kurgi so which, which is a very proud thing for the kurgi people okay even now kodavus are the only people in india permitted to carry firearms firearms means small guns without a license right so usually in india if we want to keep a gun then we need to keep a license but this people that is only in the kurg the people they are allowed to carry small guns without any kind of license okay further the river kaveri obtains its water from the hills and forest of kurg okay the river kaveri obtains its water from the hills and forests of kurg mahashir a large fresh water fish abound in this waters so abound means to be present in large numbers okay so a large fresh water fish named is mahashir okay is found in this waters kingfishers kingfisher is a kind of a bird dive for their catch so this kingfisher bird right they dive in through the, uh, in the water and they catch away the fish and they fly away while squirrels and langurs so langurs you have seen a uh, kind of monkey drop partially eaten fruit for the mischief of enjoying the splash and the ripple effect in the clear water so usually in our childhood days we also do this this kind of thing uh, whenever we visit a pond okay or a river we usually throw stones in it because of which ripples are seen right so ripples means uh, small waves seen in the water right when we throw the stone small waves are created in the water which is known as ripples so the langurs and the squirrels they drop okay what do they drop partially eaten fruits uh, so that ripples are created okay elephants enjoy 
being bathed and scrubbed in the river by their mohots so mohots are the person who actually takes care of the elephants okay so a description about elephant is given the most laid back individuals become converts to the life of high adventure uh, high energy adventure with river rafting canoeing rappling rock climbing and mountain okay we'll try to understand this i'll explain you mountain biking numerous walking trails in this region are favorite with trekkers so these are some of the adventurous activities uh, which takes place at this place that is in the kurg so what is given the most laid back right so meaning is given laid back means relaxed or not in a hurry so the most relaxed person laid back individual means most uh, relaxed individual becomes converts so converts means what right so converts means uh, this people uh, they become very much active to the life of high energy that means they are filled with lot of energy okay with the adventures like river rafting okay you might all have heard about river rafting that is a very interesting uh, adventurous activity okay then canoeing canoeing is traveling in a river in a canoe that is a large narrow boat okay then rappling rappling is again uh, an activity uh, usually taking place at the mountain so it is rappling means going down a cliff by sliding down a rope that means climbing uh, holding the rope and then sliding downwards that is rappling then again rock climbing okay and mountain biking mountain mountain biking again a very adventurous activity okay numerous walking trails numerous walking trails trails means paths created by walking so usually we have seen that uh, in the mountainous areas the people they go for trekking and there is a small trek created which is known as trails in this region are a favorite with trekkers okay birds bees and butterflies are there to give you company so here all the description regarding the place that is the animals the birds the adventurous activities okay everything is mentioned next is makek m a c a q u e s makek malabar squirrels langurs and slender lorries keep a watchful eye from the tree canopy so this are the different kind of animals which are found in kur okay uh, you can go through this uh, words in the google you can google out and find out the different animals okay i'll read out the names again first one is makek malabar squirrels langurs and slender lorries okay so as i said this all are different kind of animals i do however prefer to step aside for wild elephants okay so what the writer is saying that when the elephants they come uh, he goes away he steps aside okay to give way to the elephants the climb to the brahmagiri hills bring you into a panoramic view of the entire misty landscape so panoramic view means a view of a wide area of land right many a times you might have visited the mountainous regions and from the top or from the peak you can see the whole area which is known as panoramic view okay so what is given a panoramic view of the entire misty landscape misty means foggy there is a lot of fog over there of kurk can be seen a walk across the rope a walk across the rope bridge leads to the 64 acres islands of uh, yes it is given nisarg dhama okay it is the name of island running into buddhist monk from india's largest tibetan settlement at nearby the name of the place is baila cube baila cube is a bonus that means the site of this place is very interesting the monks 
we know the monks they are the people uh, who have sacrificed all the worldly pleasures and they are trying to live the life devoting themselves to the god that is the buddhist god okay buddha so the monk in red ochre o c h r e that is ochre and yellow robes so ochre is a pale brownish yellow colored cloth okay robes means cloth are amongst the many surprises that wait to be discovered by visitors searching for the heart and soul of india right here in the kurg okay so that is the description about the kurg right fine uh, i have written the meanings slender lolis it is a small slow moving uh, animal okay you can see the or find out the picture uh, by googling it out okay and below that fact file is given how to reach that means how to reach kurg is given by rail by air by road right so that you can go through by yourself and uh, here the second part of your unit 7 gets over and i'll end my explanation of this chapter over here okay so we saw a very small uh, we saw a very beautiful place named kurg which is the smallest district of karnataka and even though it is the smallest district uh, there is a lot of things to see over there right and we hope that uh, even we can get a chance to visit such kind of place okay so fine that's it uh, we'll end my lecture over here and i thank you everyone for watching my video